We always left our home, but when we come back, we always had a home. This time we left, nobody had a home. Well, people focus on the house, but it's not just the house. It's, you, you don't have your house, but you also don't have your photo album, and you don't have uh, all your bills, and you don't have your uh, records, but you also don't have your next door neighbor, and you don't have the person across the street, and you don't have that old lady in the next block that used to always walk the dog, and you don't have the grocery store, and you don't have the doctor, and you don't have the pharmacy, and you don't have the church and the neighborhood or association, and you don't have the people that you went to high school with, and you know, all of that's gone, and you don't have your job, and you don't have health care and that stuff. And when that happens, that's the way we build our identity. My dad just passed away 10 months ago and he left his fiddle and his accordion. But the accordion got messed up. This right here was floating when we got here. We've been here 30 years and, and this is home. You know, the, the grandkids want to come back. I mean, they put us all over, but that's not home. You know, and uh, we just want to come home. I'm, I'm gonna make us uh, maybe one bedroom and a bathroom, and we're gonna stay in that. <laughs> I'm too old to start over. Everything was paid for, it was ours. If we were not here and we were taken somewhere else, you know, and we would become somebody else. And so, what's the use, you know? So that's why we do. We struggle, we fight, we cooperate, we argue, we do whatever we have to do to get back home because it is a matter of life and death. It's, it's that important. It really and truly is. We're working every single day to see to it that Grand Bayou comes back, not just in trickles and dribbles, but come back and come back in a big way so that the generation coming after us our children will see that there is a place for them here and they can live here successfully and raise their children here successfully, you know, in, in a harmonious atmosphere, you know, with lots of love from family and community. And that's why we're fighting very hard to get the word out and to let and to share our story with other people so they will know what we're fighting for. People who haven't been to the Gulf don't quite understand what it is and why it needs to be preserved because it is so much a part of Americana. You're talking about a unique culture and the pr preservation, the restoration of a culture that's unique to the United States. Uh, I can't imagine the United States without the Gulf region because it enriches the cultural life of the whole country.